So, BMW Scooter 400X. It's a lone bike from BMW Motorrad in Edinburgh. My GS is getting service today. Um, and um, they've given this as a curtsy bike. And uh, it's interesting. It's got a fantastic little TFT, di TFT display, like many of the BMWs have. Um, limited functionality as you'd expect being a scooter. Still has the same sort of setup menu and by the looks of it it does have your connectivity to your phone and to media and everything else. I've just not set it up. And then obviously it gives you your bike stats and everything else. Um, visibility on it, it's alright, it's a scooter. It's got mirrors, um, you're sitting on it, very much on the bike here, rather than in it. Um, the seat height, I don't know what the official seat height is, but it's quite high. Um, for instance, I am at the lights, I'm sitting on the back of the seat where you'd sit. My right foot is on tippy toes and the left foot is probably two inches inches off the deck so I don't actually know what the seat height is. If I move right the way forward, if I put my right foot flat footed, my left foot is still two inches off the deck. Um, so yeah that's, I think that's kind of weird given that it's I think meant to be a sort of commuting town stroke sort of A road type scooter. Um, I'd have liked to have seen this with a lower seat, basically. And I think it's partially to do with that there's a whole load of storage underneath the seat and practicality of it and everything else um, means it has to be a certain height, but I th that's, uh, that's the one thing I, when I first hopped on it I thought, oh my god, it's, it's quite cumbersome. Um, it is quite low centre of gravity being a scooter and it is quite light. I don't know the weight, I will figure it out and flash it up now. But yeah, controls, it's got everything. It's a BMW bike scooter. So it has your menu button on your right, your whiz wheel, indicators, um, lights, horn, everything else. And then on your right hand side you've got You've got this, you've got a heated seat, fantastic. And you've got heated grips, so you've got uh, two stage heated grips, and you've got three stage heated seat, and then ignition, and obviously brakes are here and here. So, BMW 400X scooter, as you can see, it's um, interesting looks. It's got the LED headlights, little tiny screen which doesn't actually do very much. Not sure yet if it's adjustable. We've got the fairings down here which I noticed earlier don't actually give that much protection, I don't think. Certainly the tops of my thighs were getting buffed by the wind. with the display it's normal it's kind of a normal BMW TFT display obviously with a little bit restricted information however it does have your navigation and your media and your phone so the whole BMW connectivity aspect is still there. Um, the less said about that, the better currently. Let's see what's in here. Anyway, right. Check out 
terms of switch gear, you've got menu button, whiz wheel, indicators, lights, lights at the front. In terms of switch gear, you've got your standard lights. On this side, you've actually got heated grips, heated seat, and uh, starter. You've got little cubby holes down here on both sides. Haven't quite figured out. All right, that's how they open. So, whether it's for a wallet or keys or whatever else, they lock apparently when the bike, the ignition is off. Um, and then under the seat, you basically press this. Presuming this is a little toolkit in here, and then storage underneath, a little gas strut to keep it open, which is quite nice. And you've got what BMW call a, a flex case. Now, I haven't used this yet, so we'll see if it actually works. The guy in the store showed me it. Oh no, it's white button down here. Click. And then this bottom that actually pushes down, so you can then fit a helmet within there. And what that does, as you can see, just in there, it just deepens this part. Obviously, you don't want to ride with it like that, and I believe that the ignition won't start with it. Um, so this is what that must be for to pull it back up. So it's clicked in. Clever idea, gives you a bit more space. Yeah. And indeed there's a light in there. So that's about it.